People have been asking me a lot about my pixel tree. This is my first year. I just threw this thing together. It's been withstanding this Oklahoma wind. Um, I actually started with two little PX1s. You see, two little PX1s and the power supply in the case. Um, one PX1 works the first half of the tree. And the second one works the second half and the star. Um, the first PX1 actually powers the first string and runs data. The ground in the data jumps from the first string to the second one, but I have power injection. Same thing with the third string. The second PX1 um, runs right into the first string of the second half of the tree. And then data and ground and power injection it goes all the way around. Um, I got an eight foot piece of PVC, it's black right here, three pieces of rebar, one half inch to quarter inches I think they were, and I put them together and banged them in the ground in this pulselet right over top of it, nice and tight. I got six strands of WS 2811s, square pixels, and I zip tied them right to the half inch PVC, which comes in 10 feet, and I cut them down to 8 feet. Um, I use the extra left over to actually make a nice big star, which was pretty simple. Um, my platform there is a 1 foot by 1 foot piece of plywood, and I screwed eye hooks into it. I actually opened them first. The ends of my half inch PVC that the lights are on have a wooden dowel that I hammered into it and then another eye hook screwed into that. My plywood actually just rests on top of the one inch PVC. It has a small hole just barely big enough for the pole of my star to slide down inside of it. And at the top, which you can't see, I drilled a hole through my star and I actually have nut and bolt going through that and it holds the star from sitting around. Um, sorry guys, it's really cold out here and windy. Um, the bottom of each leg of my tree has a one inch piece of rebar, I mean a one foot piece of rebar banged into the ground and then each leg is zip tied to that. Um, and then I have, where is it, three eye hooks in the bottom of the plywood and I have nylon rope that comes down and I have more one foot rebar banged in the ground and it's tied off to that. Well, I hope that answers you guys' questions.